and welcome back to my channel. We're going to watch the One Piece today. And the last episode had kind of left some people um, kind of like, what the fuck? Big Mom losing her memory. I was probably like, what the hell is happening here? How did she lose her memory? But I guess Big Mom is a crazy woman, period. So maybe that's what it is. Her drowning could have affected her brain again. In the sense because something always happened to her she's always been mentally kind of unbalanced so yeah so we have that we had robin escaping the um the guards uh was it Fukurokujo, whatever his name is whatever his name is she escaped him and all the rest of the little ninja and then um we really haven't seen much of luffy we haven't seen much of what happened to Sanji. He was going against page one. He had fled. Um, again, I was hoping that he was just trying to lead page one away from the fight that they were having. But somebody said that he just totally just ditched him and just went about his business. But I was like, that's kind of odd, but whatevs. Um, so, yeah. We have that. Um, Shinobu and Nami are all trying to get... Uh, Robin Robin is kind of getting information from Orochi at this moment, especially about the whole uh, festival thing they're going to have on Onigashima. Excuse me. So, yeah, I think that's where we left off. I'm really curious to see how this whole Big Mom situation is going to be. Like, her losing her memory, I, I don't know. And then the fact is, I don't think it's going to be permanent. Her, She's going to get her memory sometime now. Like, come on. She just... It's probably having a little bit of amnesia at the moment, but I there's going to be something that sparks it. I really think it's going to be her probably seeing Luffy, but I mean, good thing Luffy is locked up at the moment. I know um, Raizo was trying to find the key to unlock his cuffs, but it seems like Kid was Kid has something going on with him too because when Luffy was trying to argue with him uh, next to his cell, Kid wasn't talking. So I don't know what the fuck is, is he gone, and if so, how did he leave, and what what is up with that? I need an answers to my questions. But yeah, nonetheless, let's just go ahead and stop talking and hop on into some One Piece. Let's go. I think he's just talking to her like she's a normal person. No, Chopper said, I'm getting up out of here. I don't want no parts of that woman. She freaking crazy. Olin, Olin. She better tell. Oh, she's hungry. Y'all better feed her ass. Feed her motherfucking ass. Where is Sanji when you need him? Oh, he all fuck. Yo, she don't probably like talking on his breath and everything. He don't like you, sir. But I would be like, well, what about your people? The only Wabanshu. Do you not think they're strong? Were related to Odin. Mm. <laughs> he ain't all wrong. <laughs> Is he feeding him? Is he feeding into it? And 
And if the Komodo Saki is supposed to be his sister, how do they not know that's um his Odin's daughter? They're like, oh, shut up. Man, I wish we could see. What was that expression? Oh, they want to laugh? Oh, Toko. Oh, so they saved her before he noticed her? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Oh, Toko. Oh, Toko, or get her out of there. Why are you guys just letting her? She is just a child. Oh, shit. Oh, she's scared. Robin. Robin, get there. Komurasaki. Oh, she smacked him. She moved faster than Robin. Okay, Kamurasaki. She ain't never scared. Get her ass out of there. She fainted. She thought her life was about to just be gone. Why did you hit me? You about to kill somebody. Ooh, you want a strong, you want a weak woman? Cut me up. She's strong. Odin? Oh, hell no. What? Oh, hold on. You're just some whore. Me too. She ain't flinching though. I tell you, girl. They're all scared. Snake, snake fruit, mythical zone type. Yamato no Orochi. You get a lighter sentence. They didn't know he had a double fruit power, did they? Yo, I like her. And she smirked. <laughs> what the fudge? Why is he eating random people? What type of shit is this? Oh shit, oh shit. She just said her like what? <laughs> I don't know what made me 
like, let's just like do it. <laughs> she let him do it, but she looks like she's. What was that sh sound? <laughs> I'm going to hunt you. He's just chilling. Oh, the real him is coming out. <clears throat> Rob, you better pay attention, but aren't them ninja by her? Okay, so um, we didn't have much going on with Big Mom. We still haven't seen Luffy or Sanji. Um, we didn't see Nami or Shinobu either or Zoro at this moment. All we saw was Chopper and them seeing Lin Lin. <laughs> Otama was going to tell Lin Lin who she actually was. But Chopper came in and told her that her name was Olin. Um, it seems as if even though that she's awake, Neptune is not able to tell her who she really is either. Cause it, probably because they're all connected as one. So if she doesn't know, he's not going to know. So that's good in a sense. Um, then we have the big crazy fiasco with Orochi and the Kumurasaki Otoko started laughing even though that's just how she is she laughs all the time like her expression never hardly ever changes and she can't really help it sort of like the people of Ibisu they laugh a lot so I don't know like if that's just her trigger and this is just genuine Laughter? I think it was genuine laughter because everybody was like mocking him under her uh, under their breath and she overheard it So of course she was gonna probably chuckle under and she's chuckling She could have chuckled to herself, but since she's in the condition that she's in of her just Always just smiling and having that loud like laughter even though we don't we can't even tell what type of emotion She's actually feeling it was just a bad concoction and it just blew up really really fast Komurasaki not giving a damn though is like priceless like he's just talking and she's like what I'm not no weak woman I'm a daughter of a samurai now if that is this confirmation that she is Odin's daughter or is this confirmation that she just was a previous samurai's daughter and she's just not gonna stand around and let him punk her I like that it's like she stood her ground she even moved faster than our girl Robin to save Otoko. She smacked the shit out of Orochi. And Orochi was so like butthurt. He was, he was like, why, why, why did you hit me? Like, dude, you was about to kill a child. Cause she's laughing at you. Yes, you could have said like, okay, get this crazy girl away from here. She's killing my mood. But you're literally about to take your freaking sword and kill a child. Like, really? Um, so this es escalated really, really fast. Now we have uh, Robin having to go against the uh, Oniwa Banshu. So it's like, how is she going to do this? While trying to protect Otoko, freaking or Orochi transferred to his snake snake fruit thing. So now all his head's everywhere. And why is he eating up random people is another thing. Like, why? You just that man. You Are you that man? When it was a Komurasaki that smacked you and a little child that was laughing at your ass. Yes, of course they were having a little chuckle moments and dogging you out and make their breath and stuff but you ain't even hear that so it's like why are you doing that are you that mad but now uh, Kyoshiro is freaking kind of like you could tell this kind of like fired him up so like he's like laughing manically and now it's like is he going to try to attack Orochi now even the Komurasaki like she's in his mouth but it doesn't seem as if she's yelling for pain or anything like that like yeah she's not yelling at all she's just laying there and when we, she first got attacked, it was like a shh. Is that the shh sound because of Orochi and the snakes? Or is it something dealing with her? Like, why is it? He's, like, chomping down on her. But it's not like it's doing anything. Like, he's just, like, it's like, it's sort of like, you have you ever seen, like, old people with gums and they, like, try to chomp on something? 
That's what it reminds me of. Like, so he ain't got, got he ain't got no teeth. And it's like he's gumming her and her body just bouncing back because there ain't nothing near to chomp on her. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's freaking weird. <laughs> but now, it's like we're left to guessing at what's going to happen to Big Mom. She's saying she's hungry. They better feed her ass before she go through a rampage. Um, Chopper, I don't know. How, is Chopper going to leave her? I don't, I don't think they're going to leave her there. And that's just is so bad. That's just so bad. That, that whole situation is wrong. And now this. We have this going on. And I'm, I just want to see what the other people are doing too. This is cool and stuff. But I'm really anxious to see how the other crew members are doing. Like Usopp. We haven't seen Usopp and Frankie much at all these last couple of episodes. I mean, yes, we saw them, like, saw them with um, Law and Sanji and them when they were going against page one. But we really haven't seen them do anything crazy. And I want to have... I don't know, I just want to see more. And this is a good episode, but I I think since I watched My Hero first, I like I was like pumped. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more from this one. But anyways, um thank you guys for watching this reaction with me and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>